the Nairobi City Marathon is slated for this Sunday right here in Nairobi County. And joining me in studio to give us more details on this is uh, former three-time Boston Marathon champion Ibrahim Hussein, who is the Nairobi City Marathon Race Director. Thank you for joining us. Thank you, Lillian. First of all, big, big fan, and thank you for joining us in studio. I mean, you're, you've done extremely well, you've done the country proud, and we celebrate you. Let's get into the marathon. How long is the course and how different um, is this year's marathon? Thank you, thank you, Lillian. Although it's uh, Nairobi City Marathon, it's called Marathon. Uh -huh. There are four events. There'll be the real marathon, there's a half marathon, the 10K and a 6K. Mm -hmm. So there will be four events mm -hmm. in one. Okay. Yeah. And in terms of the route, um, how different is this year's routing? What, what, what routes are we expected um, to see closed on this particular day? I think that the route is going to be run. We'll be running on the expressway. It's a very easy route. It's a beautiful route. So we are not going to be inconveniencing a lot of people. Mm -hmm. You remember last year was the first one, and we had to run around the city, meander around the city, mm -hmm. and I think there's a lot of inconvenience. Mm -hmm. But this year, we want to showcase the city a little bit, but the main running is going to take place on the expressway. Mm -hmm. And I must thank Moja Express Company for allowing us to use the expressway. Mm -hmm. Because, uh, you know, the expressway is about 27 kilometers. So if you are to run the whole 27 kilometers, you'll go over the 42, mm -hmm. which is the marathon. Yes. So we start from uh, Nyayo Stadium, and then you run westwards. You get uh, from uh, Riyadh House, where there's Riyadh House, and then you run along the expressway. You go all the way to James Kishuru Road, and then you turn around mm -hmm. and you come all the way to Museum Hill. You do the town a little bit by going outside. I'm already tired. <laughs> okay, carry on. Yeah, yeah. So that's the, that's, that's the route, as you can see right there. Uh -huh, carry yeah. on, Ibrahim, yes. Yeah, so, mm -hmm. so, so you'll do the city a little bit. Yeah. And we sample without inconveniencing anybody. Mm -hmm. We know the churches, they'll be church goers on Sunday. Right. We don't want to inconvenience them the way we have been doing. Mm -hmm. So there's a very small section. So, ex so expected, I mean, we are not expecting any traffic flow to be affected. We're not expecting the usual closure of major roads in Nairobi. We'll be closing uh, the expressway from tomorrow at 10 p.m. Mm -hmm. So the roads will be closed at 10 p.m. Okay. And then the race is going to start from 6.30 in the morning on Sunday, and uh, by 12.30, all the races will be through. Okay. In terms of the number of expected participants, what numbers are we looking at? Right now, we are targeting 15,000. You know, last year we had 10,000, but uh, it's beyond our expectation. We had less than 10, very close to 10. But right now, as we speak, we have 11,000 participants who are going to be running. Impressive. Uh, and some of the big names, of course, apart from yourself, who are yeah. we expecting to see there? Yeah, we are very happy that the guy who won it last year, Brimin Misoi, mm -hmm. he ran the fastest time. Nobody has ever run uh, a uh, marathon in 208 in Kenya. Mm -hmm. So he's back. We have some Ethiopians with us. Mm -hmm. We have some uh, Tanzanians. Very, uh, right now, there are about 88 yeah. top athletes who are going to be there. You know, we are not targeting particular athlete because we want to give the Kenyan athletes an opportunity to come and really. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And in terms of the prize money, that's usually, <laughs> of course, who is bagging what? What's the top prize? Who's this going the, home with what? This is the good part now, Lily. You know, the, the, this marathon, we are so proud to say, is the, the top in Africa. Remember last year we gave uh, $60,000 mm -hmm. for the winner. It's comparable to any, any marathon in the world. So this year, we cut a little bit, but we spread it from 1 to 20. Mm -hmm. So number one is getting 3,500,000. Number two is getting 2.25. Number three is getting 1.5 million. And then it goes all the way mm -hmm. to number 20. Mm -hmm. Also, we'll have some very good prizes for the half marathon and the 10K. Yeah. But for the 6K, 
these are for the front runners, mm -hmm. the family, even you. Yeah. We, we, we want you to come and run with your family. And we are very happy mm -hmm. because right now, that 6K, we have, uh, we have, we have about 3,000, three, over 3,000 people. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. So for 10K, mm -hmm. there's, you don't want to exit 3,000. Mm -hmm. And we are close. We are close to that 3,000. So. Okay, so look out for uh, the Nairobi City Marathon on Sunday. The expressway will be closed from what time, did you say? From 10 p.m. tomorrow. From 10 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. All the way to noon. All the way to noon after... Yeah. Until mm -hmm. four the next day. Okay, so avoid yeah. the expressway. You'll not be able to access that at least uh, from 10 p.m. tomorrow to 12 noon on Sunday. That's the Nairobi City Marathon slated for this coming Sunday. And I was joined in studio by three-time Boston Marathon champion Ibrahim Hussein. Many thanks for your time. Thank you.